Can you see me? Are we together? Good to be back. I want to wait a few minutes and make sure that some of you log on. This is, I think it's our fourth or fifth uh, MC Facebook Live. I've got two or three brand new, fresh, OMG, blinding flash of the obvious uh, ahas I want to share with you. Now that over 3,000 of you are on our app. So as you start logging on, oh, there, Cassie Gray. Hey, Cassie. Oh, I'm so glad you come. You're like the first one in the house. Um, and uh, who else is joining? Oh, we got a few more people. Nicole, Lauren. I know Nicole. She hangs out with my kid. Brandon T. Harris. What in the wide, wide world of sports are you doing up this later? Hey, how's your wife? How's Mary? Say hi. Rachel, she's in the house. Barb Horseman, Vanessa, Hope, hey, Hope, I see you on my newsfeed all the time. Pamela, oh my God, you've been hanging out with me for how long, Pamela? Uh, anyway, I'm glad you're here because uh, I want to catch you up on some stuff. There's over 3,000 of you now on the damn app. So I want to really kind of give you some latest, greatest updates. I want to I want to wait a few more minutes. Let's see, Rachel Bowers, nice to have you. Patty Keating, are you kidding me? From uh, HC, Debbie Lamb, Barb, Barb, you're back. You must have, oh, I, how I love the, these sessions. I love them too. This is like a new toy. Are you kidding me? So, um... Anyway, what was I saying? I get, we got about 3,000 of these apps yet. So if you haven't downloaded the app, make sure you do that. And what's, you know what's the coolest about this? I get to watch 3,000 of you kind of keying in your data, and I'm learning all kinds of stuff from this. That's why I want to talk to you. Uh, hello to YouTube, Brandon T. Hope, do you have to have an iPhone? Right now you do. We're working on a Droid Hope. So if you want to get a uh, an iTouch or an iPad, that'll work. Uh, but to sooner or later, I know a lot of you have been giving me grief about uh, getting it on the Droid. I want you to know I'm, I'm on it. It's easier said than done. So, uh, you know, be patient with me. At any rate, uh, Danny Santino, Hiberto, hey, how's your hubby? How's your kid? Say hi to the fam. Angela's on the house. Hi, MC. Hi, Danny Santino. Hubertko. Shelly Lithorn. So we can't, I'm going to be on here. Amy Ducharme. Salon centric. Hey, she's the $2 million uh, sales consultant from Salon centric. She's like the bomb to the 10th power, baby. Vanessa Ark, you're in the house. I, I, I mean, I don't want to waste this. I don't want to say waste. I don't want to spend this whole. Uh, uh, MC Live saying hi to you. I'll, I'll come back to you, but I want to get to work on this. Now, latest, greatest OMG. It's It has to do with, as you start tracking this, last time I was with you, let me see if I can see, yeah, you can see it. If you, this is this is what, what, what uh, you use to track, right, daily, but you can scroll up, and I want you to go down to the very last item on your tracker called average ticket, because we're making some big time ahas on your average ticket. Now listen closely, I work very fast. Up until we launched the app, if you took, and I covered this on my last program, if you took your haircut, and you multiplied that times 1.5. So if you were charging $40 for a haircut, and you multiplied 40 times one and a half, you'd come up with $60, right? Well, that was typically an average ticket. So average tickets before the app was running about one and a half times higher than a haircut. And that was a great goal for you to shoot for because there's a lot of people that couldn't get their average ticket that high because they didn't know how to upsell. But what I'm finding as I'm looking at your data is several of you have average tickets, listen closely, two to three times higher than your haircut price, which tells me you're coloring anything that moves, right? I mean, if it's breathing, you're putting a color on it. Now, let me stop a second and check in. Vanessa, good to see you. Jenny, Jamie, uh, you're in the house. So I want to get back to this. I want to make a slight 
change to the rule of thumb. Those of you that have been following my teaching know that I would say that when it came to planning, Right? If you put your average ticket, because now you can put it up in the upper right hand corner, if you don't get a planner, get a planner. So let's just pretend that your average ticket is um, two times your haircut, and your haircut is like $40, right? So average to your average ticket is running $80, and you put 80 up there, you see it? Now, when you start planning all, tomorrow, when all your tickets start coming in, you want, before they come in, you want to look to see how much money each ticket is. So, for example, if you've got a, a haircut coming in tomorrow at, uh, at uh, 11 o'clock and you're going to put $40, that's, see, we simplified it. You got a $40 ticket at 11, you compare the $40 ticket to your average ticket and what do you see? It's higher. So we used to say that the when you have a ticket coming in that's higher than your average ticket, this was a no-brainer. In your middle column, you want to plan, you want to what? You want to plan on making a retail offering. You're, that's the first formal conversation you're going to have for a lower than average ticket. Now, but your average ticket, now your new average is running twice as high. So I think we got to change the rule. I think we can say that anytime the ticket coming in, if your average ticket is two to three times higher, then anytime you've got a ticket coming in that's $20 more than your haircut, you want to plan on leading with a retail, uh, you want to plan on doing um, a retail offering. Now, if they're higher, if, and the higher they go, the more uh, of a candidate they are for planning for retail. Now, if they're lower than your, if they're lower than your average, lower than one and a half times, let's say it is a $40 ticket, you know it's a haircut or even less, you want to focus on upselling them a service. It's a service add-on. So I give you this because I want you to start using your planner income and, and how you use, I am beg your pardon, I'm talking so damn fast, I, I can't even keep my thoughts straight. You want to use your app on your average ticket and to, to benchmark your, your average ticket on your planner to learn how to plan. You want to use the planner in combination with your tracking app. It's so important. And the rule of thumb is, when your ticket coming in is one and a half times higher than your haircut, you, you know that that's, you're going you're gonna to lead with a product offering. Well, what kind of, what am I going to be, what should I write down the product I'm going to be talking about? No, 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 no. You can figure that out in real time when you do the consultation. Isn't that cool how that works? And if it's lower, than one and a half times your average. I, you're sending me lots of love. I love you too. If it's lower than one and a half times your uh, your your haircut price, you're going to upsell them the the, the tick. You're going to upsell them a service. That's how it's going to work. Let me stop a second. Christy Nelson, love Christy. I love you too. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Hope you're back. Kenny Martin, you are the bomb too. I always say, see, I see all you guys on my newsfeed. Eddie Rivera Peterson, I love her to death because her and I hang out. She's like an RA on steroids, man. So it's huge. Angela, good to be with you as well. So I was, I was just telling people about how to use their tracking app to plan. You don't want to be throwing this away. Now, there's something else that I'm seeing on uh, Facebook and on Instagram that I want to catch you guys up on real quickly. And that is the this whole idea of... Um, you can begin to look at tomorrow's appointment book for windows of time that you have opening and now you can start using either your like page or your friend page and many of you are by just sending out little notices, little posts. Some of you are putting pictures. Christy Nelson is on tonight. I know Christy, you do this all the time. I see you on my newsfeed where, where you'll put a, uh, you know, your selfie is your really, if you have a great selfie, come and see me. Uh, I've got an opening for a haircut and a color tomorrow at four. That's how you do that. You look at tomorrow's book to see Pick one or two windows of time that aren't filled yet 
and then use Facebook or Instagram and send this out to all the people that have either liked your business page or they friended your personal page. Anytime I see you do that on my newsfeed, you guys, you know what I'm doing. Christy, you know, Christy, love Christy, you see what I do. I'll say, hey, love Christy, how long did it take you to fill that opening? And you'll go 15 minutes and two more filled. So there's a boatload of you using um, Instagram and Facebook to fill openings. But to do that, you got to look at where your openings are. That's why we're finding, since we've launched the, the, the tracking app, and since we now we're using it with the planner, we're tying that into using social media specifically. I'm going to tell you my favorites are Instagram and Facebook. I love Facebook. I love Instagram. And you want to get over this whole idea that, well, Instagram is where it's at and Facebook is for old people. No freaking way. You use both of them. When you go and you post your pictures or your notices that you have opening on Instagram, you automatically freaking share it on Facebook. Now, I'm not making this up because there's a whole bunch of people that are on my feed that like last year had 140, 150 referrals. Uh, who was it? Reese Montana from upstate New York, Emily Horton, uh, Kayla Ray Dickerson. These are people that are getting huge referral explosions by using, posting their work on Facebook. And then the next thing now is using Facebook and Instagram to fill in the gaps. But to do that, you want to get as many of your guests to like the salon's business page and friend your page. Why? Because every guest that friends the page or likes the page, listen up, I'm working really fast, has 250 other friends that aren't your clients yet. So anytime you post, you run a, you, you raise the chance of not only your clients seeing the post, but the friends of your clients, especially if you've run it on a business page where you've liked it, because now you can boost the page. This is huge. I want to stop a second. Danny, uh, Danny is telling me Facebook fills my gap all the time. You damn right, Danny. I see you posting all the time. Are you kidding me? Facebook is not just for old people. I know it's not, Lindsay. You're so right. You're so right. Who else? I started your program a year ago, and I'm hitting $1,800 to $2,000 a week not including retail. Who's that? Is that you, Autumn? Autumn uh, Borland. She, this is, you're, the, you're the freaking New Testament. Are you kidding me? And in two weeks, I get my own associate. Are you kidding? Autumn, you just started this. What, when did you start this, Autumn? A year ago, and you're already, you're already working with assistants and associates. Why? Because you're a freaking social media ninja, right? And you're using the tracking app and you're using the planner, and you're a ninja at, at guest handling with the power wheel. And I bet you also, you're, you're certified colorist, certified designer. See, it's all of these new skills. You use them right, and boom, goes to freaking dynamite. Amy Ducharme saying, hmm, love the idea of trying social media to fill in the gaps of the book. I'm telling you, Amy, I got a whole bunch of people on tonight's program. They're doing it. They're just like, but there, you have to look at tomorrow's book and you want to do a surgical strike on those windows of time and you advertise one of them. All you need to do is just, just put one on there. I've got a, uh, I've got a 12 hour opening tomorrow. See, it almost sounds like you had a cancellation. Or you could even say that. I had a cancellation for tomorrow at one o'clock and get real specific. It's for a haircut. It's for a color. If you want it, text me now. First come, first serve. I mean, I'm posting this every day on my over the top page. I'm using that page now to show everybody that's watching my page what other people are doing to using uh, social media to make money. You want to, if you're already a ninja, as using social media to make friends, you're going to use that skill to make the money. Did I see Leah Hansen? Are you freaking kidding me? You're on tonight? She, you're, she's like an RA on freaking steroids. 
Taryn, you're on there. How do you track nails and additionals? Well, you need, are you using the uh, Summit Tracker for Nail Artists? Get on summitsalon.com and they'll show you how to do that. Emily, what's Emily saying? I worked at, I don't want to drop the name now, and even though we don't take appointments, I'm using social media to push my clientele. It's growing. Of course, social media works everywhere when you work behind the chair. Whether you take appointments, don't take appointments, you do a little bit of both. People that are using social media are making money. Hairdressers that aren't yet are probably, slowly but surely, losing their guests to, hair, to those stylists that are using social media. P.S. You can pay Facebook to advertise. I know, it's called boosting. It's called boosting, Autumn, but you can't boost on a front page. You can only boost on a like business page. That's why I want you that are listening tonight to begin to encourage your clients to like the business page. If you don't have a business page, you get on the salon's business page. All of you want to be branding on that as well. And if you don't, if you're uh, either have your own salon and you're using a front page, get a business page so you can start boosting. What else? Tracy Tid French, you're on my you're on my newsfeed all the time. We talked about this when we met in Richmond. You damn right we did. You used it, and now you're freaking rich and terribly happy. Angela, and then Taryn, I'm a stylist and do nails in between. Are they considered additional services? Yes. Well, let me give it to you this way. There's no right and wrong way. You can use a nail service, uh, like an, uh, a manicure. You can call that the same as uh, your haircut. So you, if you want to call it additional, call it adi an additional. Or you can go, any service that's more than 20 or $25 is a service. If it's less than 25 it's an additional. You kind of rewrite your own rules. Who else do I have? Clients love the inside details. When I post about education, I get appointments just to be first client to wear my new skills. Lynette, you're a freaking brilliant uh, at this. You're saying, look, I just came back from an educational powwow, I've got some new looks, and you're just sending that out, and all of a sudden you've got clients that aren't rebooked with you, they're seeing what you're saying on their newsfeed, and it's prompting them to come in to see you. This is why it's so important. So who else do we have? Oh, you're, no, I'm not gonna be at Premier, Premier this year, Jamie. I was at there last year. Don Farley, no freaking way. What are you doing up so late? This is, our, if you're on East Coast time, this is already 9.30, it's past our bedtime. Adrienne, I love you too, girl. And uh, April Garcia, do you have any dates in the future for Seattle? You freaking right, I do. You wanna talk to uh, um, Keith Huffstetter, or talk to Michael Quarter, or talk to any of your, of your salon-centric sales consultants, I'm gonna be out in Seattle uh, in the fall. So I don't have my calendar in front of me, but ask them. Uh, Denise Suleme, I know you too. I've seen you at a couple of my seminars. Good to have you. Shannon Holland Rusher, you're on the SNCG supersonic sales consultant thing. Wouldn't miss you, I know. Now, I want to start winding down a little bit. I want to give you the action plan because we're having so much fun. I don't want you to forget the action plan. The action plan is I want to continue to use my tracker. I want to continue to really study right now. The only thing I, I want you to focus on my average ticket. I want to start you, posting my average ticket in my planner. I want to, as I'm doing uh, uh, my plan, after I'm planning, I want to start um, uh, benchmarking my tickets coming in against my average. If my ticket coming in is one and a half times my haircut, I'm going to begin with a retail offering. If it's lower than that, I'm going to upsell them on a service and then unwrap them on retail. I'm going to start looking at my book to start uh, seeing where my windows of time are tomorrow so I can start doing surgical strikes on Facebook and Instagram. What else? Oh, if you're a Summit Salon and you have a, your coach coming in, these are the conversations I want you to start having with your coach. Anyway, this was just an awesome uh, time to be hanging out with you. Before I say goodbye, I'm going to say, uh, Lindsay uh, Scalis Taylor, your summit class in Kenosha last fall has changed our business. I know we've been, we do good things together. Where do I get the tracking app? I missed that. Oh, look. If you, uh, for, you need for right now, you need either an iPhone or an iPad. I'm going to show you.
go to, I'm going to bring you up on my app store. Um, I'm going to push the app store. Let me see if you can see it. It should be loading up. Is it? There it is. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit search. Right? I'm hitting search. Let me see. There it is. I'm hitting search. And I'm going to type in S-U-M-M-I-T, Summit Salon. If I hit Summit Salon, I should be able to, it should bring me to the app. There it is. I'm going to hit it. There it is. It just came up. Summit Salon, you'll see it. It's going to say free. You download it. You sign up. It's for free. Uh, and you right now it's for iPhone. You can get away with it on an iPad. I'm working my ass off to get it. I shouldn't be using it. I'm working my you know what off to get it on a Droid. Just be uh, be patient with me. Danny, did that answer your question? Cassie Gray, you're welcome, girl. I'll see you in the hood. Uh, Jenny, always amazing to get to hear your words of wisdom. Gary Longo, thank you. Got it. Okay, wonderful. Listen, I'm going to sign off. It was a great ride. I'm going to do this probably once or twice a week. I'll give you a hand, I'll give you a heads up because this is really cool. This is the latest, greatest uh, way. So Shannon says, boom goes to dynamite. Boom goes to freaking dynamite, Shannon. I'm going to see you a couple weeks on the retreat. Uh, you've helped take my life over the top, Michael. That's what Autumn says. Can't wait to chat with you again. And Sandy, uh, uh, Vendetta, thank you, Michael. And uh, Urban uh, Lake Jackson says, uh, Urban Eve says hello. Ashley, say hi. Uh, say hi to all my buds there, too. See you later, gang.